Yo, what's going on, and welcome back to some Neo 2. Last time we cleared out this first story mission, wasn't too awfully difficult, the boss, although we probably could have first tried it if we had shown patience, but instead we, we took several tries at him until we finally got it figured out. But we're going to go ahead and start some of these sub-missions that have now unlocked before our next story mission. Hopefully maybe we can get two done. We'll see how long they actually are. It seems there are still some Imagawa clan loyalists at large with the Oda's, within the Oda's domain. They may be plotting to kill Lord Nobunaga to avenge their fallen master, and of course we can't let that happen. Let's stop them before they cause any real trouble. This looks a lot like the forest map from the first area. We'll see if it is similar. I mean, that's the same, right? Because it went down that hill and there was a bridge. The abundant greenery and wildlife and the horrors of war reached it and it transformed into a place living dare not enter. Plant life, having gradually absorbed the dark energy swelling in the forest, started to transform and the roots and ivy grew at a rapid rate, creating an eerie landscape. Sometimes rave adventurers are drawn to the forest by rumors of spirit stones, but few of them return, their corpses serving to fertilize. I think we, have we already read that. It seems similar, if not exactly the same. Is this the same forest? It is the same forest. All right. I'm also not sure that we actually have to do all the submissions. We might want to like start choosing submissions that have rewards we care about. What am I fighting? Oh, hello. Do it. There we go. I don't like you backing up to your friend over there. We should probably use a uh, dual sword since we got these new ones. High damage swords here. Are you being guarded by anyone? You have a lot of friends. Oh my Jesus. All right, maybe we'll take this on from the other angle. I feel like we can maybe insta-kill this ninja. Alright, uh, he is very tanky. I regret thinking that I could insta-kill you. I really didn't think... They just... Every time I went to heal, they threw something at me. That's so frustrating. And it was always a different one that threw stuff at me. Okay, you suck. How do you get more arrows while you're in a mission? Just purely picking up arrows, I guess? Alright. Ow. Alright, we got some damage here. I didn't realize we were high stance, actually. Whoa, hello. Alright, where was that second ninja? Where did you come from, Mr. Other Ninja? Up there. He just kind of kept going, huh? Finishing Expert. Another title. I hate you. You're a jerk. There's a lot of enemies around here. Please don't be another ninja like in the bushes. So, do I just want to like shoot you in the face? Yeah. 
That sucks. They're protecting each other. I'm at a dead end. God. All right, shooting the boss is not useful. He doesn't stay down long enough for you to actually get anything done. I wish you got arrows and stuff back. It's kind of cheesy that you don't. That you can't replenish them. Could have gone poorly. Hey, an arrow. Alright, let's just start luring people into unfavorable 1v1s. Boss is here, huh? Yeah. Need to kill one of them. Are you going to do anything? There we go. Nice. Alright. We well, defeated you. What's happening? Okay, he despawned. Alright, what do we else have what else do we have going on over here? Let's climb the tree, get those arrows. Body. Anything up here? Nope. Oh, there's lots of ninjas, huh? Oh my goodness. That does a lot of damage. So if we remember our bow actually gains damage the more things we kill. So we might want to actually start using it. So what do we got going on here? We got a ninja and just one guy, it seems like. All right, now the bow is one-shotting that guy. Oh, 
星は結構ございません。必ずやっとどの臆病。So, do we want to investigate what this actually is? Oh, it's unlocked. We just had to kill that guy, I guess. There's something over there, though. So, we should probably go this way first. I feel like there's always been an item here on every version of this map we've played. Oh, we haven't. I was gonna say, we haven't actually used this weapon yet. To see if we like the moveset. It seems very similar. I can't tell if it's slightly bigger though. Because both of our weapons are new, right? Yeah, they're both new. So we'll work on both of them. I forgot that we had a new sword as well. So, what do we got going here? Seems like a boss fight. It's just him again. Ow. Dang it. What? I feel like I blocked that. Dodge all that. You didn't do the second part. What the heck, man? Ow. What? I disagree. I feel like I was miles out of range. This guy's got a lot more health. That sucks. We need. We really just need to figure out how to burst counter that. This fight will become easy if we can do that. I'm having trouble figuring out what moves he actually follows up on, because sometimes he just doesn't follow up on them. But we probably just keep punishing like this. We don't have to do anything special. If we can figure out how to consistently get that burst counter. Oh, that's a one shot. Why did I even bother trying to burst counter it? We could have just not and probably won. I need to, I'm gonna learn how to do that burst counter. I wanna learn how to do that burst counter. Can we just run? Who respawns? I 
just want to get a lay of who all respawns. Okay, not the big guy. That's just utter baloney. The fact that he even got any of those hits in on me is stupid, but we could just run for it, I guess. Well, that sucks. We lost all of our Almerita again. Wait, how do we... Oh, you can't go this way. Oh, crap. It's this way. Well, I almost died immediately. Dang it. That was close. We're paralyzed, though. Okay, do we just do it slow, or do we go for the burst counter? I want to go for the burst counter. I don't want to do it slow. I disagree. Hard to get close enough to first counter, I guess is the major problem. I feel like you can only really go for him if he does the full combos of moves, like that. The kunai are a lot faster than the talisman moves. We can be fast enough, we can just kind of dodge it, the arrows at all times. Force him to use this move more, which we can punish. We're out of kunai though. Good dodge back, it could have gone really poorly if we had to block all those. Oh, I just wanted. I. I thought that would be so easy and I nailed it, but it just doesn't work. Oh my goodness. I should have just stayed patient. We're using up all of our elixirs on some worthless mission. Really? How did you possibly hit that? Oh, 
Oh, he did both that time, which he hardly ever does. Oh my goodness. Really? How does that possibly hit? I spaced it perfectly. And then I blocked that and it didn't even register. And then I'm completely out of the range of that and it hits me anyways. Okay. I guess the game is just trying to make me lose all my heals right now. Why even bother trying? You have to just wait out the entire fight, apparently. It's the easiest fight in the world if you take 20 minutes to do it. If you try to do it any faster than 20 minutes, then you will die repeatedly. Really? Did you just join the fight? You did. Okay, well this is over. I didn't think it would let them just walk into the fight. They should at least like get hit by the abilities or something. The fact that they can hit me while I'm doing an execution sucks. God damn it. a range spammer. I have yeah. I do have healing. It's just on the other thing. Just stay high stance. High stance is better. He should get hit by his own lightning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Didn't cancel it, but that's because he did his roll move. Do this the slow way, I suppose. Not like that. I don't know. It's like the instant you try to change anything up, you just take all of your health. Come on, 
do your stupid punishes, Bulma. a lot more of that other burst counter that we can just kind of outspace and then punish. Do something that I can hit. Like that, yes. Yeah. Alright, finally. Get me out of this fight. Okay. That should not have taken us that long. But it did. But we're done. We wasted a whole bunch of elixirs on this mission that was virtually pointless. I do want to do that other submission that can give us uh, the Viper's sword or the Viper's gear and what what I what I would presume is also his sword called the Transient Blade. I think they came to retrieve their master's head. Is that what you'd call a true samurai loyalty? I wonder. They may be the enemy, but I can't help but be impressed by their dedication. Now that we serve Lord Nobunaga, we do well to learn from their example. Alright, so which one was it? It was this one right here. We'll do this one and then we might just move on to the story because some of these uh, submissions aren't too exciting. But I ask you to retrieve the spear belonging to Master Dosan, my departed father-in-law. Yoshitatsu soldiers are currently occupying the estate, but I refuse to just sit by and let them defile such a meaningful keepsake. So we're probably going back to his house, huh? Oh, we already read this. Yep, the Viper's Sanctum. Okay, so we're spawning here where the other boss fight used to start. Interesting. Is there any Kodamas or anything behind us? There used to be a cat back here, right? No kitties. Alright, let's sit at the shrine. Oh, we got some ninjas. We should probably start our arrow. Although it only works when we get kills, right? You're not a ninja, or are you a ninja? Oh my goodness. You lived. He was not a ninja. Is our bow not enough to one-shot here? Probably not. At least not these big guys. Nice. Oh wow. I guess if you like perfectly time, or if you time your uh, key burst, or burst counter, and then immediately do the execution, then you stay in yokai form for the execution, and that happens.
I mean, like, enemies like that aren't an issue. I can just run up to them and spam, and they can't re react or do anything about it. It's the bigger enemies that have super armor that are a problem for me. Because I don't have heavy weapons to stagger people easily. It takes me a lot of hits to stagger them. Oh, this is locked off. Alright, well, we gotta go this way. What is this? It's just like a bone structure. That used to have a Kodama in it. We should probably just to verify there's nothing there. This is still open. There's lots of slug men in here. Do we want to fight this? Not really. Am I going to fight it anyways? Yeah, I guess so. What's fighting me? Is it the slime dude? Yeah, it is. He threw his sword. Oh, they are very weak to fire. Alright, there's more. Alright, so note, slime dudes, weak to fire. We'll use that to our advantage later. What is a shinobi box? Contains a surprising number of various ninja tools. Given the container's compact size, use it to restore 30% of ninjutsu items. Ooh, it's actually cool. I wonder if there's a magic one of those. We definitely, oh, oh, I didn't realize we were dying to poison. That was lucky. We could have been dead while we were in that menu. Didn't realize we actually got poison. We're still poisoned. It lasts forever, huh? All right, we'll eat two. Alrighty, what are we looking at here? We got a dude over there. But he doesn't seem too interested. Probably take out this basic guy and get our archery going. Eagle Eye Samurai. Alright, so do we want to kill that guy? What? What am I fighting? Oh, up there. Okay. I'm fighting multiple archers at the same time. Noted. Alright, we got everybody up there. So now we can probably fight this guy. Do we want to hit him with something? We got some good damage on our bow at the moment. But his helmet blocked it. Oh, wow. Our move actually was just enough to break his key. That was nice. Wow, what were you hiding back here? What does that do? We should probably check. Sacred rice wine that bestows the god Saisetsu Shin's protection, temporarily increasing the amount of Amarita you require. Oh, that actually seems pretty good. Like if we need to acquire a whole bunch of Amarita or we think we're under level, that'll be quite useful if we find a good farming area. How many arrows? We got plenty. I don't know if you can dodge the helmet like that. I haven't really figured out which helmets actually count as helmets and which don't. Like this guy, I'm pretty sure he has a helmet. I see this guy as well, but I guess we'll just, we'll just beat you up real quick. We could get away with that without this guy noticing. Oh, there's an arrow man over there as well. A Rai Odachi. So we're going to want to shoot this man in the face. Once he stops. Okay, so no, you cannot dodge the helmet. It's good to know, I suppose. 
Now we could probably just run at that guy unless he's got something guarding him. Anything here? Last time there was a Sudama there and a cat back here. An item. I wonder if the wall is there. Oh, no, the wall is gone. I was just curious because we couldn't actually reach that area. So I thought maybe it would be there. What am I fighting? Oh, I am fighting you. Like you're you're pretty doomed. Oh. I didn't even see this guy. You didn't drop me any arrows? I need those. I only have three regular arrows left. Well, good thing they showed me this zone that I would have otherwise missed. Some sparkly money over here. Alright, so we're moving up to his estate. There should be several dead archers up here. I wonder if we can use that shortcut that we missed for a very long time last time as well. Should I even bother shooting this man? He's probably alone. If he's alone, then it'll probably be easy. Oh, he's not alone. Alright, I needed to finish him real quick because his buddy was coming. Whoa, I was not expecting another hit. What the heck, man? Oh, that went pretty well. Alright, I want arrows if these guys have arrows, though. Can't go that way. So that means we do have to go up that shortcut way. So we'll go ahead and drop here. See if we can get some arrows. It's not looking good, though. Some herbal remedies. Some of the cups. Oh, there's some arrows. It's three arrows. That's good enough. It only costs us one arrow to kill that specific guy, so. Alright. Let's head up into the actual estate now that we've cleared this entire cave. Hopefully the other shrine, it looks like it's there. Ooh, we do have to fight thing though. We probably should have gone back to paralysis. Slaps. No! I was not near her! Oh my god. If she hadn't have changed up her moveset to do the single hair whip, then I would have beat her right there. Because I blocked for the double. That's so stupid. It sucks so hard to lose to the last enemy before the shortcut. How much can we skip without people actually noticing? Well, I would like to grab those arrows, but I don't think it's an option. Yeah, I think we just go. We can kind of run past everyone. 
still incredibly frustrating. And I didn't redo my thingamajig, so I guess we're still going with water. Oh, two is actually enough for paralysis. Well, that's good to know. If we could get a paralysis off on at least her with just two, two of the shock. Uh, what? How? Oh, last time we didn't actually go to this area. Might as well. You really, you really doing this right now? Ow, he got me. All right, what are we giving him? Just like a rock? We'll go back to rock meta. We don't really lose anything if we give up rocks, so that's fine. It looks like he may have dropped some arrows for that. That would be nice. Can you leave? Go the other way. I just want to pick that stuff up and then move on with my life. Turn around. Get out of here. Four arrows. That's going to be pretty useful. Because we haven't... Oh, we did die, so I guess that probably reset it. So where exactly are we supposed to go here? Can't go this way, can we? Or maybe we can. Oh! You... You know wrestling moves? Can we just like, pray at the shrine? Before we get here? So that way we don't have to redo this part? Okay, let's let's redo our jutsus. That's fine. We just want to probably get rid of fire and add in lightning instead. Whoops. I didn't kill, I was sure that would be enough. Apparently that heavy move does not do a lot of damage. Not nearly as much as our, our sword heavy does. Okay, so we got rid of him. Now there's something, did we ex explore all the way behind her? Or is there nothing actually behind her? I don't know, let's, let's go find out. Okay. Oh, we already looked in here. There was none. Okay, so we can go back to the shrine now and continue. There's nothing in here either? No. Nope. It's kind of interesting how they have you go through the same areas from different angles and with like certain paths blocked off and stuff. Although some of the submissions are getting a little bit tedious. Is this a sword? I guess this is his sword? 
It's not the final boss, though. Final boss must be up here, somewhere. Ooh, it's a dark realm. All right. Anything over here? It's gonna surprise me. Don't be afraid to use buffs if we think we need them. I thought it was something other than a Gaki around the other corner, because I knew there was two. I just couldn't see what the second thing was. Ah, oh, the switch glaive that was here is gone. Can't you break some of these walls? It's not these. Oh, we can get a nice fire buff off of that, probably. Can you shoot me through this? I would hope not. Uh, the fire buff from these guys is real short, though. What do we got here? That's locked. That must be the item we're looking for. Oh, there's the Yoki. Whoa, I've never seen that before. Okay. Well, I, I mean, once he did that, the fight was over because I couldn't get off of the wall anymore. I was stuck. I had to hope that I, like, broke his horns or something. I've never seen that move before from Miyoki. I don't know if he had a different weapon. Didn't look like it, but... Oh, whoops. Don't want to change our weapon quite yet. Really. Oh, there's an elixir for our trouble. But it's gonna cost us an elixir as well. Alright, you explode. Oh, he's a dual sword Yoki. Oh no. I feel like that should have hit. Oh god. I thought that would go a little bit further. Or be the other one that we've already seen. Apparently not. Okay. Somehow we both used our moves and both of them hit. There appears to be the spear. Is that it? Pretty sure if we pick that up, it ends the mission. That was interesting. I'm not sure how both of our moves hit each other at the same time. All right, well, I guess that's it. So we get a random spear and the big spear disappeared, okay. Well, we don't have to use a healing item, so we're good. We'll go ahead and end the mission like that. 
think we got enough for a level up maybe as well more damage is always welcome you actually did it well then hand it over already that's what the viper would have wanted after all I guess Soul Core is purified. A level 36 Soul Core? Is this one different or is this the same? Oh, uh, it's still the same. Even though he had the dual swords? <laughs> well, let's go ahead and check this blade out. Wait, what all did we get from it? Can you show us what the rewards were? So we got a chest piece, legs, boots, so everything except a helmet and a sword. Interesting. Coin threader. What is this? Oh, that was the wrong menu. Oh. So this goes with the Pit Viper stuff. He gets active skill key consumption, plus 50 key, auto life recovery on purification. Alright. I would assume that that's just like uh, the steady life recovery instead of what we normally, what we have right now, which is just a burst life recovery. So this could be better than our blade. Its base is definitely better. But let's keep going up. Oh, we got some of these that are actually quite high level, but they're not quite as good as this. Transient Blade. This is what we were looking for. So this thing's better. But we'd need two pieces of the Pit Viper gear. So we might... We might get a piece of Pit Viper gear to go along with this sword. It has less stats on it, unfortunately. But I think that'll be fine. Should do more damage for us. And then we have this... Seems like a really good spear. It has damage bonus on enemies defeated. Maybe we should use a spear for a little while. Because, like, this is our best weapon. Probably by far. And it's got really good effects. So if we used it for a while, it would be really broken by the end of a map, as long as, like, we haven't rested in between. So, like, our first attempt at a boss fight could be really good. I might do that. I want to use the Transcendent Blade. And these things seem very good. So we'll probably make use of them. But I want to try the Spear out, because it's... It's our best weapon right now. Oh, if we do that, then we get rid of... So we'll keep our golden boy bow damage. We need to keep this bow to keep the golden boy bow damage, so... We'll just keep building up familiarity with this bow. Eventually it might be good. Especially with the damage increase that it gets over time. Still no match locks, high level match locks. That's lame. What do we have here? We have a Tengu mask. Nothing really new though. Any new shrine maiden stuff? Pit Viper gear. Pit Viper gear is light. We might just put this on. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. But we don't have the sword at the moment. So what... You get life recovery 200 with four pieces. But we can... The Shrine Maiden doesn't have a piece that's a weapon. While the Pit Viper does have a piece that's a weapon. So they can kind of overlap each other a little bit. And we don't necessarily need piece number 5 on the Shrine Maiden. 
There's no way we could get both full sets, though. That is impossible. But we could get rid of one piece of Shrine Maiden gear. Why don't we see... I think this is worth it, probably. What does it look like? It doesn't really go very well with our Shrine Maiden gear. Not gonna lie. Did we not get any gloves? I guess there were no gloves. We have another Shrine Maiden set over here. Merchant, Pit Viper stuff. I mean, this is quite a bit better. And it, they definitely match together better, but we we really want our our Shrine Maiden level 4 bonus for that life recovery. Because we're not going to be able to get level 5 unless we really want to equip the spear and his sword. Which I guess is an option, but... We'll keep this for now. What about shoes? What are we looking at for shoes? Got the Pit Viper shoes. They're not really that much better. Level 2 is Key Consumption. I feel like we'll just leave it at this. We'll try out that spear. Technically, we already have level 2 with Pit Viper as long as we actually equip the sword. But we're going to try out the spear for a little bit. And then we might change our gear again because this looks, like, terrible. Honestly, the Shrine Maiden set looks better. But we just got so much defense out of this. We were running with like a level 20 piece of gear there. Okay, let's see what we got here and then that's gonna do it. Doesn't look like anything special. Alrighty, well I think we are done there. I, th I don't really want to do... Oh, do we have a level up? I guess we should check if we have a level up. We do. Just do another heart. Oh, it doesn't increase our spear damage. I was like, why is our sword not going up in damage? That's fine. Could also... How much is skill giving? Skill would give us two damage. Con would give us no damage. It would give us spear damage, apparently. I don't think the HP is really worth it. So we'll just go heart. And yeah, I'm not sure if I want to actually do this mission here. It looks like it just kind of gives some stuff. I like how it's called an error in calculation and it gives you an abacus. It's just whatever that warrior's cross sphere is. But I feel like we should just move on to the next story mission. We're high enough level anyways, right? What level are we? 44? Eh, we'll figure it out next time. I think I'm going to take a break for now. But either way, hopefully you enjoyed this one, and I will see you next time.